G'day everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft build tutorial. I swear there's always a perfect tree for me to stand on for the intro. I've literally never placed any of the trees I've used in my intro, I swear. This time, we're creating this big survival compound slash fortress with everything you need from farms and storage to a nether portal and enchanting. We also have a secret area too. The entrance was shown in one of those four areas and if you can guess it right in the comments, I'll tell you how cool you are. All right, as usual, I'll do a quick tour of the base before we get started, just to make sure this is a build you wanna commit to as it takes a lot of time and resources to create. So starting off, let's take a quick look at the wall design around the exterior of the base. So all the way around, we have a lot of lanterns above all of these azaleas, which will stop mobs from spawning a little ways away from the outside. But I would recommend placing a bunch of lanterns or torches all the way around. Also, just a side note, everything on the inside is at a light level of eight or above. So there should be no way for mobs to spawn inside the base. All right, so back to the walls. So we got this nice arch design and we also have some nice wood behind it as well. And on the sides, we have a little tower just like this. And these have ladders inside as well. So you can climb up to the top and shoot any mobs or anything with a bow or anything like that and this design for the walls and the towers are repeated throughout the entire build except for the back one here where we have a very big tower which has some important rooms like a bedroom and enchanting and stuff like that we'll get to that in just a second so let's head through the front entrance and in here you can see we have a lot of stuff on the outside as well over on the right side we have a bunch of smelting we got just normal furnaces and we got some blast furnaces and smokers as well and in this area it's just kind of like a little decorative area now heading back this way and straight we have our nether portal this is off for now just because it's uh, a little bit noisy and annoying for the video and then heading back to the left side we have crafting and also a little bit of storage as well now you might notice we also have some farms and some gardens as well just in this front like courtyard kind of area we got some wheat and we also have some carrots you could also replace these gardens with more farms if you wanted to these are just mainly decorative now let's take a look at the big tower at the back left so heading through the front door we first have the first room which is just mainly decorative as it's kind of cramped in here so we just have a couple of armor stands now let's head upstairs this is also another decorative area we've got another armor stand and a nice table and some books shelves and stuff now let's head up to the next floor and this one is our kind of like our main storage we've got nine double chests here and yes these top ones of course do open now let's head up to the next floor this one is the bedroom we also have some more personal storage and some barrels here and just some more decorative little pieces here and now up to the very top floor which is the top of the actual tower itself now up here we have the nice blue flag and we have some storage as well for any like bows or or arrows and stuff you want to keep now let's head back down and head to the basement floor so heading down from this floor here we come into the basement and this is where the enchanting room is this enchanting table of course which is a full level 30 and on the sides here we also have some extra storage this is kind of like your offhand storage like you'd maybe put some blocks that you don't use too often like maybe cobblestone and grass and stuff like that and then also if you couldn't guess from the intro this is where our secret area is just under this trapdoor in here it's a little bit tricky to get in here you can't really jump and hold crouch on this area or else you can't really get inside so what you have to do is stand on top of the enchanting table and then you have to hold W, jump and hold shift all at the same time like this. And then you kind of just get under this staircase here. It's a bit hard to do, but with some practice, you could do it. And then all you have to do is just open this trap door, open the next one and crawl on through. And this is our little secret area. We have a bunch more chests. We've got 18 in total and also some smelting and crafting. And then to head back outside, all we have to do is close up this trap door once again and open it back up once we're standing there and now we're outside now on this floor as well in the tower we can also exit out any of these doors and head along the top of the walls as well and this is so you can kind of patrol around your area make sure there's no mobs or creepers near you that are going to sneak up on you when you leave and you can also open up these doors to the little towers here and head up the ladder up to the top if you wanted a higher vantage point now that's pretty much everything in the build if you enjoy the look of this base and you want to create it for yourself be sure to stick around and we'll get started on the tutorial right now So starting off, you're going to need to find a pretty big open flat area and then go ahead and place these starting blocks here, which is for the entrance. And now go ahead and place in the first block of all of the stone brick pillars for the walls. Thank you. 
Now with all of the outlining blocks placed, go ahead and raise up all of the pillars by an additional three blocks so that they're four blocks tall in total. Next, connect all the pillars together with more stone bricks along the top. Next, head to the front left corner and start off by filling in just this little section here of the walls with stripped spruce wood and also do the same thing on the other side in this little section right here. And then we're gonna start building the front left tower. So on this section here, place an upside down spruce stair block and two spruce trap doors. Now grab out your scaffolding and head up. And then we're gonna extend these pillars here for the tower up by five blocks. Now one block below the very top, place in a stone block just like this around each side. Now with that done, let's add in the same wall design that we did below with the upside down spruce stair block and two spruce trap doors below that. Now let's extend the scaffolding up to the very top and up here place in some spruce fence gates just like this in each gap and then on the top of the four pillars place in some lanterns. Now let's head up to the wall to the right of the tower and we're going to place some spruce slab blocks directly above the stripped spruce wood. And then inside the tower, raise it up by another half block so that it becomes a full block. And then we can place our spruce doors on either side. Also be sure to add in an upside down spruce stair block above each of the doors. Now go ahead and repeat that exact same design on the front right corner and also the back right corner. Now with our towers all done, it's time to fill in the rest of the walls with stripped spruce logs. Also be sure to leave the gap here that I did because this is going to be for the entrance. Now it's time to add in all the details for the walls. So firstly add an azalea with a lantern on top. In the top left and right corner add in a spruce stair block and also some trapdoors in between those. Now above those stair blocks on the stone bricks, we're gonna add in this kind of repeating design with spruce signs and trapdoors, and then repeat this design across all of the walls. And also be sure to keep it interesting and replace some of the regular azaleas with some flowering azaleas as well. Now with all of the exterior wall details done, head inside and add in some interior wall details as well. Thankfully these aren't in every single wall section, just in a few select areas.
Now I know that section was a little bit confusing, so here's a quick little tour of the interior wall details, just to make sure that you got everything right. Now it's time to head up to the top of the walls once again and add in this repeating design of slabs and stairs across the entire walls. Also on the front wall, be sure to leave this gap here as we're going to be adding in our little gatehouse thing. And once you get to the back left section where the big tower will be, we're going to add in this little walkway design and this is so we can get into the big tower from the top of the walls. Now let's fill in the walkway with spruce slabs and these are all directly above the stripped spruce blocks below. And also on this front section here, raise these three blocks up so they're flush with the top of the walls. Now it's time to add in our front entrance design. So in these two gaps here, place in some stone walls. Along the top, extend the spruce slabs down by one. And then along the top, we're gonna also add in these iron bars. Below that, extend these stone walls out and add in a spruce fence gate. Now on the inside, let's add in our signature little archway design and then also repeat that on the outside as well. Now it's time to add in our gatehouse thing. I honestly don't know what to call it. Uh, to start off extending these pillars up by three blocks in total. In between each of these pillars, place in some stone stairs and then some fence gates and then stone stairs again above those fence gates. Now repeat this design on the back And then let's add on the roof. It is just a simple spruce slab design. And then on these sections here, add in some trap doors and head down to your scaffolding and add in this little design on the front and back as well. Now heading inside, sorry for this awkward camera angle, but we're going to fill in the ceiling here with some slab blocks and also we're going to add a lantern on right here. And now it's onto the big boy, the main tower. So I'm going to be flying for this section just because it's going to take forever if I use scaffolding. So firstly, let's add in this pillar here and we're going to alternate between stone blocks and spruce fences and bring this all the way up to the specified height. And then we're going to extend this out to the left and bring it back down with the same design. And now just fill in the walls with this design. It should be easy enough to follow. I made it pretty simple on purpose. And then just repeat the same design on each face of the tower.
and then head to the very top of the tower and extend it up by one more block. And then add in this simple design just so it kind of looks like the top of like a castle tower. And then go ahead and repeat this on the other three sides of the top of the tower. Once that's done, let's head in here and we're going to place in the ceiling with spruce slab blocks. And then also add in more spruce slab blocks along this area here and in the corners be sure to extend it up by one more so it becomes a full block. And then place some stairs in each side right here. Now we're going to go onto the flag and this is pretty easy to follow, just raise it up to the specified height. And then we're using light blue wool and blue wool in a checkered kind of pattern. And then just follow the flag design that I'm doing here. Now it's time to add in the path slash floor design. So go ahead and just place it in all with stone and we're going to be texturing it as well in just a second. You can choose to do that if you want or not, it's up to you. So if you decided to texture the path, go ahead and fill it in with gravel and also andesite. Alright, so I'm going to be doing the rest of the tutorial in the first person view as it's just a bit easier to follow. So with the floor design all completed and textured if you decided to do that, Let's head inside and we're going to complete all of these three smaller towers in each corner. So let's first head over to the left side at the front and what we're going to do is come inside and we're going to place two spruce doors just like this on the outer blocks. This is how it looks like from the outside. Now heading inside, let's hold shift and place some ladders all the way up to the top as far up as we can. But before we reach the stone block here, we're going to stop because on this block, we're going to be placing a spruce trap door just like that. And even though there is a trap door here and not a ladder, we're still able to climb up it like a ladder. So that's the tower design completed. Now let's quickly repeat this on the other two towers. All right, so now with our three towers completed, let's start adding in all the details on the interior next to the walls. And first, let's start off with the front wall. So on this left side wall here, let's come in. Let's place in some upside down spruce stairs just like that and on either side place on a spruce trap door. And now on top of this stair block place a flower pot and a flowering azalea. Now heading over to the right side let's place in a composter on each side and then a barrel in the middle. Alright now with the front wall design completed let's head to the right and add in the storage and crafting areas. Firstly let's place in all of the storage blocks. We're actually going to extend the stone into under these two sections right here. And now let's add in some barrels along the top. Underneath that, let's place a spruce slab on either side and in the center, place a spruce trap door. And now underneath that, place in a double chest and then just a single chest next to it. And now we're going to just mirror this on this side as well. So add in some barrels along the top, spruce slabs underneath with a spruce trap door, and then a double chest and a single chest. Next, let's add in all of our crafting blocks. But before we do, let's just place in some spruce stairs upside down, just like this in the top in the middle. And directly underneath that, let's place in a crafting table. To the left of that, a smithing table. And then to the right of the crafting table, a loom. Above the loom, let's place an anvil and then another barrel. And then to the left of the stair block, let's place a grindstone. And underneath that, just a stone cutter. Now, top of the crafting table, let's place on a flower pot and also a spruce sapling. And with that, our crafting and storage exterior areas are completed. Next, let's head to the right once again, and this is the back wall. Firstly, let's add in a little table, just like we did over here. It's pretty much the exact same thing, just an upside down spruce stair block with some trap doors, and on top, a flower pot with a flowering azalea. Now, I realize I actually missed a little section right here, and we can just quickly add this in, just some spruce stairs and spruce trap doors, just to make an arch like this. Now, let's head over to this side, and we're going to place in two composters and a barrel in the middle. 
Now let's add in the nether portal. So firstly, let's place in the obsidian. We're gonna place a strip just like this on the left and right side. Fill in this area here, and then down here, fill in these three blocks as well. Now we're gonna replace these three dirt blocks with some more stripped spruce logs. And then we're gonna pretty much try and cover up all of this exposed obsidian, because it does look a little bit weird. So to do that, what we're gonna do is place in some stair blocks, just like this, on the left, right, and the middle. In between those, let's place in some spruce slabs. Now below these two edge stairs, we're gonna place in some trap doors, just like this. And then grab out a little bit of scaffolding and just make a short little pillar like this. And on the top of this wood here, we're gonna place in some stone brick stairs on the left and right side, just like this. And then in between these, we're gonna place a spruce fence gate on either side and in the middle, a spruce fence with a lantern on top. Next, the last thing to do is place in some stone stairs. So in these gaps, just fill it in with stone stairs. But on these corner ones, we're gonna stand like this so that the stair block places in this kind of orientation. And there we go, there's our back wall design done with our nether portal. Next, let's head to the right once again, and we're gonna be filling in all of our furnaces. So in the center, let's place in a smoker, and then beside that a furnace, and then beside that again, a blast furnace. And on top of that, we're gonna place a campfire. Doesn't really matter what orientation you place it in. I just think it looks cooler with the logs facing out like this. And then of course, extinguish that with any shovel. Now to the left of this little area, we're gonna place in just nine furnaces in a big square like this and then to the right of our center area, place in six blast furnaces, and then beside that, three smokers. And with that, all of our wall designs are done. Next, let's move on to the farms. So it's completely up to you if you wanna fill in each of these grass sections with farms. I like the way it looks with two farms on the opposing corners, and then on the other two, we have some little flower gardens. So I'm gonna set it up that way, but of course it's up to you. So on the bottom left side, let's replace this block here with some water. And then on that block, we're gonna place a spruce trap door, and above the spruce trap door, hold shift and place a stone brick wall and then a lantern on top like that. Next, all we have to do is just till all of this grass and then simply plant in our carrots. Next, let's head to the opposing corner and do the exact same thing, this time with some wheat. Now with our two farms done, let's head to the top left side. And this is kind of the blue garden side. On this block here, place on a stone brick wall and on top of that, another lantern. And then we're pretty much just gonna fill this area with lilacs, blue orchids, cornflowers, and alliums. And also put in some grass as well, just a couple. And you kinda wanna just spread these out as much as you can. Just get some nice diversity in there, I guess. And also be sure to leave some spaces blank as well, just so it doesn't look too crowded. Now I'm happy with the way this looks, so let's head over to the opposing corner and do the same thing with red tulips, rose bushes, and poppies, and also grass. So just like before, place in a couple pieces of grass, then place in maybe three or four rose bushes, and then put in a couple of red tulips and also poppies. Now we're fully done with all of our gardens and farms. Now let's make the little central building. So to make this little bell tower thing, what we're gonna do is head to the direct center, and then in each corner of this center area, place in some stone brick walls. Above each of these, place in some spruce fences. And then we're gonna have to get our scaffolding out again. And on top of all of these fences, place on some more stone brick walls. Now let's jump on top of the walls. And on this side, we're gonna place some spruce stairs just like this. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now in the middle on the each side, we're gonna place some slabs just like this. And now underneath, we can place a fence in here and on that, a bell. And then to the left and right of the bell, place in two lanterns, just like that. And there's our little bell tower thingy done. All right, so that means that pretty much everything on the outside is done, except for this big back left tower. So that's what we're gonna start doing right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over here and replace all of these grass blocks with stone. Now let's add in some stripped spruce wood in these areas here. And then let's chuck in a ladder up here just so we can get up to this level. And up here, we're gonna add in a whole layer of spruce planks just like this. And then in the center, we're gonna fill it in with just spruce slabs. And we're gonna leave this one open so that we can place the ladder going up here. Now let's head back down and we're gonna place another slab on here so that we can place a lantern on as well. And then in these gaps here, we're gonna place a slab on and then place an armor stand as well. And then a slab above those armor stands. Now on these armor stands, just chuck in whatever armor you want. I'm just gonna go with some iron and also chain mail. And then let's add the doors on. So come outside and place just some doors on like this. And now while we're outside, let's add in some little arches like we've done pretty much on, on all the inside walls. 
So just place in some spruce stairs and spruce slabs just like this. Do the same on the other side as well. And then we're going to chuck a lantern on right here. This is just one block out from the top trapdoor. And then one block out again from this lantern we're going to place on a stone brick wall on the top and bottom. And then in the middle place in a fence. And do the same thing on the other side. Now with this done let's head back inside and head up to the second floor. And on this floor, we're just going to be chucking in a couple of random decorations. So on this corner here, let's place in two upside down spruce stair blocks and cap it off with a trap door. Now on top of this table, let's chuck on a flower pot with a spruce sapling and to the right of that, a couple of candles. Now let's head over to this corner. Let's place in a few bookshelves just like this and to the right of that, a lexin with a book and quill inside. Now let's head over to this corner in between the two doors. We're going to place a slab and then an armor stand. And again, just put in any armor you want. I'm going to go with some leather just to keep it different. Now let's add in the ceiling for the next floor while we're here as it's a bit easier to do from the bottom floor. So just fill all this in with slabs. Leaving the corner block out of course because we're going to be adding our ladder on right here. Now in the center block let's place on another slab so we can add a lantern on there. And that's this floor done. Now let's head up to the third floor. Now this is going to be the storage floor so to start off what we're going to do is come into this corner and we're going to place some stripped spruce logs just like this this is three high as well and then against this let's place in some double chests these are going to be three high as well and there's going to be nine double chests in total which is also 18 just single chests now with that done let's go into this corner and place in some more stripped spruce logs just like on this side now let's head to the right and on this side, we're going to add in another little table, this time in this way, where the corner blocks are kind of like angled. And then on top of this table, let's place in an amethyst cluster to the right of that, a flower pot with a flowering azalea, and then a couple of candles. And also light them up as well, if you want to. Now let's place in some more ladders so that we can get up to the top here. And now let's start adding in our ceiling, which is on this layer here. And to get rid of this gap that's going to be on top of the chests like this, what we have to do is come up here and we're going to use some spruce stairs. And above these three chests, we're going to place some stairs just in this orientation like this. And then we're going to fill in these slabs like this so that there's a gap here. And that way these top chests are still openable. Now let's just continue filling in the rest of the slabs for the entire ceiling here. And then after that, we're going to head down and fill in some of the gaps that we left here. So above the two pillars, let's place in some slabs. And then across here, also fill in these slabs as well. And then come to the center here and we're going to add a lantern on and there's our storage floor completed next let's head up to the next floor and this floor is going to be the bedroom so let's start off by adding in the bed design so come over to the left wall here and we're going to add in some strip spruce logs just like this and in between them let's place in our bed on the left side let's place in a strip of three barrels just like this and do the same on the right corner as well now above this let's place in some spruce slabs and then below these spruce slabs let's place in some spruce stairs just like this now up here let's place on a lantern and then above these two strip spruce logs we're going to place on a flower pot on each on the left one let's place a spruce sapling and on the right one a cornflower now around the bed let's add in some cyan carpets doesn't really matter what color you choose you could also go with red to match the bed now to the right of the bed below this little window thing here place on a lectin with a book and quill inside and then put a spruce trap door on either side to kind of give it this like enclosed appeal now to the right of this in the corner let's place on some bookshelves on the top and bottom and in the middle one let's place a loom in this orientation if you stand like i am it'll look like empty bookshelves on either side if you don't stand like that you'll see this kind of face of the loom here so just be sure to place it like that now above this let's add on a spruce slab and then we're not going to add a ceiling lantern because we already have one over here so now let's head up to the final floor and this floor is really easy all we have to do is place barrels in each of the corners here and then next to the barrels, just place in some single chests. And this is kind of like the storage that you'd have for like arrows and bows and stuff for when you want to come up here and shoot mobs or whatever you want to do. And then the last thing to do for up here is just add on a trapdoor. And now that's pretty much the entire tower done, except for the basement floor. So we have to come all the way back down here and we're going to start by clearing out an area below this ladder here. So let's dig down. We're going to go down by five blocks from the floor here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then next we're going to go in by six in a height of four. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to push these walls out by two on either side. And I'm going to do that real quick right now. And 
And there we go, there's our completed excavated area. We're gonna have to do a little bit more excavation soon. But before we do, what we're gonna do is make sure that all of these exposed faces are stone. But we only have to do this in this strip of three here. So let's replace all of these dirt blocks here with stone. And also this block here, obviously yours won't be the same, but just make sure this top row of three here is all stone. Same with the floor as well. We don't have to worry about the walls here because we're going to be covering them in. All right, before we get started, let's quickly add in our ladder here because you might have to leave and uh, grab your resources for this part. So down here is going to be the enchanting area and also the offhand storage, which is going to be to the left and right of us. And we're also going to have to dig in a little bit as well for the secret area. But before we do that, let's do the enchanting area first. So let's firstly come into the back wall and we're gonna make this O shape out of bookshelves. And then to the right and left of that, let's do the same thing. Make sure to leave these corner blocks empty as we don't really need the bookshelves in there because this will reach level 30. Now, in each of these gaps that we made, place in an upside down spruce stair block at the top and below that, a spruce trap door. And this is the design so that we can kind of keep the hidden area hidden, which is gonna be in here. So we can quickly open this and dig in a few blocks just to help us later on. Now let's add on a lantern in the middle and then place on the enchanting table directly below that. Now with our enchanting area done, let's head to the left and add in our first little offhand storage section. And to do that, we're gonna push this wall in by two blocks. So now with that, let's add in our chests and this is gonna be nine double chests in total. To fill in these last chests, we might have to extend this wall a little bit and we'll fill it back in when we're done. Just place on these chests like that and then let's fill this back in with stone. Now above all these chests, let's place in some slabs just so we don't have this like weird little gap at the top. And then we're gonna extend the bookshelf out this way and then we're gonna make a kind of circle with spruce stairs and spruce trap doors. So in each corner, place in a spruce stair block and then in between all of those, place in a spruce trap door. And there's our first offhand storage section done. Now we're just gonna quickly repeat this on the other side as well. And there's our completed offhand storage areas. Now all that's left to do is to do our secret area. So if you're making this on bedrock, you're gonna have to do this a little bit differently and I'll quickly show you how to do it now. Because in bedrock, unfortunately, trap doors don't make you go into the prone position when you stand underneath them and close them. You can also do this in Java as well if you want to, it's up to you. But for the people that wanna do this, all you need to do is get a sticky piston, destroy this bookshelf here and then go down by two blocks, place in a sticky piston just like this and add your bookshelf back on. Now we're going to place a lever behind this trapdoor here. So just place your lever on like that and we're gonna have to destroy a couple more bookshelves. So what we're gonna do is connect this lever up to the piston that we just added in, which is down right here. So just hook up this redstone all the way down to the piston and then we're gonna close this little section back off. Place your bookshelf back on here. And now when we flip this lever, it's going to close up the bookshelf and look like normal. Now all we have to do to get into our secret area is open this trap door, flick the lever, and now we can head inside. We're gonna have to also keep this kind of too high as well. And that allows us to get in. I'm not gonna do this for my secret area because I prefer this kind of like skill way to get in, I guess. So if you don't wanna add this piston in, all you have to do to get in here, and this also only works on Java as well, by the way, what you have to do is stand on top of the enchanting table and we're gonna hold space, W and shift at the same time and go into this stair block. So I'm gonna hold W space and shift and then we kind of glitch underneath this staircase here and then we can open this trap door and head inside. So let's finally start off by making our actual secret area. And to do this, we're gonna go in by six. So we've already gone in by three, so let's extend it by another three. One, two, three. And then we're gonna destroy one block below and one block above as well and do this all the way to the end. And now we're gonna go left and right by four, but we're gonna do that one block away from this section here. So let's quickly extend all of this in by four. Do the same on the other side, just like this. And then we're gonna clear out these two little sections right here. And there's our completed excavated area. Next, let's go behind us and place in some stone stairs just like this, and also place in a spruce trap door against the other one here. And this is how we're gonna be able to get back out of our secret area. Now let's start adding in our chests. So firstly, before we do, let's quickly replace these blocks here with stone slab. Now I just noticed some of our pathway just fell down and we can quickly fix that up now if that happens to you. Just place in your first slab and place a piece of gravel above it. Now just fill in this gap here with stone slabs and this is just so our chests will open. Now let's start adding in our double chests. So it's going to be nine double chests in total, just like the one that we made for the offhand storage back there. 
You might also have to remove some of this wall here just so that we can get in and place these double chests in. And be sure to fill this wall back in too. Now, as you can see, all of our top chests will open, thankfully. And now let's quickly repeat this on the other side as well. So once again, place in your stone slabs above here and then chuck in all of your chests. And also just be sure that they all open. Now with that done, let's add in our little spruce circular design once again. This is with spruce stairs and spruce trap doors. Do the same thing on the other side as well. Now all that's left to do is add in our crafting table and our furnaces. So we're going to make a circle design of furnaces like this and place a crafting table in the center. And now in front of this, let's add in our circular design once again, just like this, spruce stairs and spruce trap doors. And the last thing to do is add a lantern right in the center up here. And there we go, that's our completed secret area. And with that, our whole build is now completed. Now this was quite a big build. It took a really long time to design and create. I actually created this on stream, which was a lot of fun to do. I've never really made a base like this. So if you enjoyed this and want to see more content like this, be sure to leave a like on the video. It also helps the video spread to more people. And consider subscribing as well if you enjoy these kind of tutorials. And thank you so much guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.